Hello everyone. My name is Karthikeyan Dandayudam. I am a member of Wave Energy and Fluid Engineering Laboratory which is in the Department of Ocean Engineering at Indian Institute of Technology Madras. We as a group work under Dr. Abdus Samad and today's topic is about tidal energy why and how here we can see the contents of this topic and they are given in various points and the very first thing is what are tides and follows the different other points such as tidal energy types tidal energy plants tidal potential of india recent projects advantages and disadvantages first to know what are tides it is caused due to the gravitational pull of a moon and sun you can see from the figure that the moon is on one side and the sun is on the other side which causes this gravitational pull and in turn it creates a low tide and high tide that can also be seen in the picture the periodic rise and fall of ocean water level is called as tides the tidal range is nothing but the difference between the consecutive high tide and low tide and to make it more easy for you to understand a picture is given which shows a high tide and low tide during the high tide the water level is more and during the low tide the water level has drastically decreased which can be seen in the picture now let us see the different types of tidal energy and the very first is called the tidal barrage which has a dam like structure the energy capture is due to the masses of water that flows in and out of this structure the second type is called a tidal lagoon which is similar to barrage however its structure encloses an area of a coastline with a high tidal range and it is not as big as a dam and you can see the structure in the forthcoming slides and the last one is a tidal stream fast flowing body of water created by tides is called as a tidal stream thus these three types of tidal energy are majorly used all around the world in this slide you can see the three different types and the very first one in the top most left corner the picture shows the barrage and on the right side it shows a lagoon and bottom you can see the tidal stream all these three types makes use of a turbine to generate electricity a turbine is a machine that takes energy from a flow of fluid fluid in the sense it can either be an air or water in our case it is water and 
this turbine is majorly used and to give you a picture of the turbine you can see the red colored turbine that is shown under the picture tidal stream here you can see various tidal energy plants that are developed by various countries in different time period and one of the oldest and successful tidal energy plant is called the Lawrence which has a capacity of 240 megawatt which was developed during 1966 by the French government. However, this plant was highly dominant for very long duration until the South Korea during 2011 developed a power station which has a capacity of 254 megawatt and called as Shiva Lake Power Station which is now considered as the one of the biggest tidal energy plants and various other countries like Canada, China, Russia and the United Kingdom has developed different power stations of different capacities that can be seen in this table. Here you can see the recent projects that are taken by various countries all around the world. As this particular presentation is made in 2020, I have created a table which shows the recent five year projects by various countries starting from 2016 to 2020. You can see the countries that are working on tidal energy projects. They are France, Netherlands, Italy, Portugal, Scotland, Canada, Japan. And it varies from few hundred kilowatts like 200 kilowatt to 9 megawatt. Whereas 200 kilowatt capacity project is initiated by Italy and one of the biggest project in the recent time is developed by Canada which has a capacity of 9 megawatt. Here in the slide you can see the potential of India. As India is covered by water in most of its place you can see the tidal range and very few places has the red color which shows that it has a high tidal range ranging from 10 to 12 meters. The potential sites of India are majorly three locations out of that two location is in Gujarat and one location is in West Bengal. The Central Electricity Authority studied the potential in India and it said that it is around 8300 megawatt. The locations are given down in the table where two of those locations which has a very high tidal potential is given. One is Gulf of Cambay which has a potential of 7000 megawatt and Gulf of Kutch which has 1200 megawatt. And the last comes 100 megawatt potential close to the Gangetic Delta Sundarbans in West Bengal. Here we can see the advantages of tidal energy. 
the very first and the important advantage is it is environmentally friendly and it will not pollute our environment tides can be predicted accurately which will help us to effectively generate electricity efficiency from tidal energy is greater than coal solar or wind energy maintenance cost are relatively low and the life period is comparatively very long the disadvantages of tidal energy is given here the cost of construction is high and we have very few ideal locations to construct a tidal energy plant transmission of power is expensive and difficult so these are all the disadvantages that can be faced while working on a tidal energy plant thus i believe you all will have an idea about tides and tidal potential of india and the tidal energy plants after this presentation on behalf of wave energy and fluids engineering laboratory i thank all the viewers thank you